Hello. Yeah, obviously, I like to think that I I read the game good. That's a big part of uh, of the center back's job. Uh, and I don't know. I've played both uh, both high press and uh, with a little bit deeper uh, deeper defense. So I would say I uh, I can adapt to both. You know, uh, I'm also pretty fast. So I I don't have problems to you know uh, stand a little bit higher and. Uh, uh, I would say one of my strengths is to, yeah, like you say, to defend the space uh, behind me. Um, so I would be comfortable to press high and uh, and to be a little bit lower, I would say. Thank you. Can I ask Paul, please? Hi, Carl. Um, I'm sure you're aware that it's a very physical game in Scotland. How prepared are you for the kind of physical demands of the game in Scotland? Yeah, uh, I would... Uh, I would like to say that uh, I'm well prepared. Uh, I hope so. Uh, I I I see myself as a pretty physical player as well. Uh, then of course I I have to uh, adapt to the game here in Scotland. I'm I'm uh, I haven't played here, so I'm not sure exactly exactly what's waiting. But uh, I hope that I will adapt well, and I think uh, my uh, my physicality my what is it called? Physicality <laughs> is uh, is rather good, uh, so uh, I, I hope there will be no problems there. Thank you, Ryan. Hi, Carlos. So you recorded an eighty-one percent passing accuracy while while we played Ruben Kudan last season, which was the highest in the Russian league. Um, how excited are you to play in a system that will showcase your passing ability as well as your defensive skills? No, I'm I'm very excited to come here. I think uh, what uh, what Ange tried to do, uh, he he tries to play a very very nice football, also very entertaining football. Hopefully, that uh, uh, will be nice uh, nice to watch, and uh, also uh, hopefully that we players can get uh, get out of attributes on the field in the best possible way. And uh, like you say, to to play the ball a lot, to dominate the games, uh, to press high, that's uh, that's what we aim for. Uh, then of course we have to work very hard to get there, but uh, I think if if we do the job every day on the training, uh, then uh, it will eventually eventually come. Aaron? Uh, I've known uh, for it uh, for quite some time, so I can't say exactly how long. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I would say that, uh, of course, this uh, quarantine time uh, down in London uh, made it look like it was a very slow process, you know. But uh, both me and the club, we uh, we knew knew uh, what we wanted, and we worked hard to to solve everything, you know, and get it done as fast as possible. Uh, then of course you cannot cheat anything. You know you have to you have to take things in uh, some st certain steps and certain ways. Uh, but uh, I actually I I, uh, I looked up a lot how Ansh uh, wants to play his game. You know before coming here, before deciding to join. And uh, I think uh, like I said, I think it will uh, will suit me uh, good. So uh, that's why I also choose to come. David. <laughs> I'm I'm afraid I'm I'm not uh, really the right person to because uh, you know I I of course I've watched a couple of games uh, but uh, uh, I can't I can't say too much about you know uh, uh, single person's uh, performances uh, so far but uh, he seems uh, to me like a solid defender aggressive uh, so I think. Uh, I think whoever whoever I, uh, w will be next to me it will be a very good football player because this is Celtic and uh, uh, they're 
people are here for a reason, you know. So uh, I think uh, there will be no problems, and we will adapt to each other. Who, whoever is playing. Declan. Yes, uh, the first uh, five days I was in uh, strict quarantine. Um, I uh, I was in my hotel room, uh, just had a, a bike and some weights there. So I, I worked out on the bike and uh, did some uh, you know just basic bait, uh, basic weight training and also with my body. Um, then after five days I moved to to another location. Uh, to uh, to do some football training and uh, also a little bit better uh, gym training. So I've been I've been uh, you know I've been training every day uh, for these ten days. Uh, of course, it's a little bit different from training with the team, uh, but uh, I feel uh, I feel in uh, all right physical shape. So uh, I hope uh, I'm I'm hope I'm not uh, too far far away uh, physically to to be able to perform very good. Hello. Yeah, yeah, of course I <clears throat> I think uh, I think that leadership uh, doesn't always have to do with age also. So uh, I hope that uh, everyone uh, who is on the pitch will uh, you know, speak a lot, uh, show passion, and uh, lead. Uh, try to lead the team. Uh, of course, I I hope to come in and attribute uh, with that as good as I can, and uh, uh, I feel uh, I feel comfortable doing it also. But uh, also, there's uh, like I haven't I I've already been I've been here only one day, and I already seen that uh, there's a lot of leaders uh, that uh, on this pitch. So I'm not worried about that. Matt. Matt no. Nope, moving on. Natasha? Hi, Kyle. Obviously, you said um, it's your first training session today. You've been in and around the team, which must be great after having trained in your own in quarantine for so long. What were your first impressions of the squad? And what were your first impressions of Foster Club, the coach? No, the squad and everyone around the club has been so nice. Uh, Colin McGregor sent me some messages before, uh, just welcome me to the club and everything like this. And everyone I've spoken to so far has been very welcoming and, uh, uh, you know, try to get me get me into the group and everything. So I'm very happy about that. And uh, also uh, I've had chats with the coach and uh, seems like a very good guy. knows uh, knows uh, what he wants, very like clear how how he wants to play his game, and that's very important for us players, you know, to. To know uh, how we should play out on the field, uh, so um, I've only positive things to say so far. Paddy, hi Carol, welcome to Celtic. Uh, obviously, at this point in time, there's a huge change in the Swedish national team. A lot of players retired uh, after the Euros. A great performance from them. Is this a big opportunity for yourself to make a claim and also get into the national side as well and, and add to the cast that you already have? Yeah, yeah. I hope to just, uh, you know, do my job every day, uh, perform as good as as uh, possible. I've seen I've seen before people who perform well in Celtic, they also go on and play for the national team. So of course that's also a part uh, of me coming here. Why why I was so keen to get this uh, transfer, uh, and uh, I hope I hope to do the same. You know, to play good here every week and then. Uh, uh, go go and get a spot in the national team. That's uh, that's my aim. James Paul from Celtic Fans TV, please. Hi, Carl. Um, how do you think you expect your role as a centre back to be under Ange at Celtic compared to last year's role at Rubik's Sorry, I didn't get that. Sorry, Paul, can you repeat? Yeah. How, how do you think you expect your role as a centre back to be under Ange? I think I think it will be different. Uh, I think uh, uh, you know every manager has his way of playing, 
and there's a uh, there's a few uh, like uh, changes from uh, from Kazan. Uh, it's it's still football though, and uh, I think uh, in the long term, I think this uh, this way of playing can uh, can fit me even better, you know. Uh, so uh, I uh, I think uh, of course there will always be an adaptation period, you know, to get into everything, the new tactics, to get to know everyone on the pitch. Uh, but uh, I hope to get it done as uh, smoothly as possible and uh, hopefully in the end it will uh, be very good for me and for the team. Scott, please. Hi, Carlo. Nice to meet you. Um, so the Celtic fans have used some famous songs to celebrate their players over the last few years. Eduard with Stone Roses, uh, Scott Sinclair with Scooter. What's your favourite song Oh, <laughs> that's a tough one. I heard I've heard some melodies about Starman with Starman, <laughs> so I would not be disappointed if I heard that one. Thanks, Scott. Can I have Sean, please? Did you speak to Mika or ah. Celtic before? <clears throat> no, actually not. Uh, you know, I've, I've spoken to them a little bit before uh, about uh, the club and everything. But uh, right away when I when I um, uh, got to know of the interest, I you know I didn't need to know so much. I know what the big club this is. I know the history. I know the fans, and uh, I know that I wanted to make this move. Also based on the the, the way uh, Ange wants to play uh, play football, so I didn't need uh, I didn't need too much to to speak to different people, you know. Sean, please. Oh, sorry, is Mick is Mick there, or have we lost him? Okay. That's lost us. everyone. Okay. That's us. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Sorry to cut it short, but we need to get him ready for the game tomorrow, okay? Okay, thanks a lot.